Joel Saltzman is a high-octane speaker, facilitator, consultant, and author of more than a dozen books, including for bestsellers on creative solutions. In his book Shake That Brain, How to Create Winning Solutions, and Have Fun, While You're at It, he introduced a use case for his inspirational quote. One day, his friend came over wearing a t-shirt that read, Progress, Not Perfection. This message, based on the teachings of Alcoholics Anonymous, sat in a small frame above his desk and saved his life at least once a day. It reminded him to not even try for perfection, because the more he try for it, the less he get done. Instead, he look over him work and ask himself, is it better now than it was before? And he say this. If it is, I know I'm making progress even if it is far from perfect. When things get tough, many people turn to an inspirational quote for a motivation. Then why do inspirational quotes motivate us? Ward Farnsworth, Dean of the University of Texas School of Law, and author of Farnsworth's Classical English, Rhetoric, says people have an appetite for well-expressed wisdom, motivational, or otherwise. And Jonathan Fader, a psychologist and motivation expert, who founded Union Square Practice in New York, says, There's a little bit of implicit coaching that's happening when you're reading it. It's building that self-efficacy in that kind of dialogue that you're having with yourself. The reason why so many people still use inspirational quotes is that they effectively work on motivation. Do you have a quote that really speaks to you? If you don't have it, look for a quote you can keep by your desk to be reminded of their message.